Well, hi there. I'm Diana Montford, the world's first transgender television journalist. Born male, became female. I always make that clear because of my weird haircut. People say, what direction are you going in? Uh, uh, anyway, <laughs> anyway, my guest is our favorite artist, Ms. Nancy Purnell, who is showing um, at the Jane Street Gallery in May of 2016, next month. Uh, which is not surprisingly on Jane Street here in New York. Nancy has a wonderful series of paintings uh, depicting classic Broadway theaters. Uh, she has photographs taken when the theaters were built, circa 1913, and today's theater, which she has, it's a photograph which you've painted over, isn't it? Well, the, the original old ones, I didn't paint over there, just the, the way they were taken in 1913 or uh -huh. 1923. The ones that I'm going to show that are in the exhibit, which is really a Tavern on Jane. It's not the Jane Gra Gra Gallery, it's Tavern on Jane. T tavern on uh, Jane. It's actually a bar and a restaurant, and it's open from noon until closing. So people can go anytime during that time, seven days a week. Uh, as far can as they buy them or just look at them? They can buy them. They can contact the bartender. They can contact me because my business cards are there, and I'll give you a contact number at the end of the program. Sounds great. Now, you wanted to know about the uh, the painting of the yeah. photographs. Now, I'm going to show you uh, <coughs> one of my water if anyone's interested. very, very famous favorite ones. <coughs> this is the Palace Theater. Now, I'm going to show you the old Palace Theater, which is this one. This is way back in 19... I believe it opened in 1913, yes, and uh, at, at this point, it was, it was uh, later on with the demise of some of the theaters and the fact that they were in disarray and in bad shape, uh, people came in and different developers and different uh, investors and redid the theaters. Now, this is the current Palace Theater, but it's in the same place as the old Palace. And of course, it's playing in American in Paris. Which you loved? Right. I loved it. I thought it was a wonderful mu musical. Now, I, that is a painting over a photograph, isn't it? Yes. I went around to the theater district, all the different theaters, or most of them, and I photographed them myself. Mm -hmm. And then I had them, I cropped them and worked them. <clears throat> and then I had them uh, printed on black and white matte paper. Uh -huh. And then I took out my oil paints and gold paints, and I painted on top of the photograph. And so this is, is all painted, but it's rather realistic. I didn't just make up a lot of colors, although I tried to add some glitz to it because uh -huh. it's Broadway. I wanted it amazing and gold and, mm -hmm. and the lights mm -hmm. shining and all that. So this is the palace. And the next theater <coughs> that I'm going to show is the uh, New Amsterdam. Now, the, the New Amsterdam, let me wax lyrical. Yeah, go ahead. The, the, music, okay. the New Amsterdam is where the uh, Ziegfeld Follies were. And uh, they were very successful. And one of the Ziegfeld Follies women, Ms. Olive Thomas, was uh, became a film star, married Mary Pickford's brother, Jack Pickford. Jack Pickford had syphilis. He told her on his honeymoon with her in Paris, she took an entire bottle of his syphilis medication to commit suicide. Oh she was 21 years old. It's not funny. It isn't funny. It's just and, uh, yeah, and supposedly her ghost still haunts the New Amsterdam Theater. So, I don't know. Now, this is a, a photograph... Watch out for syphilitic... ...taken years ago. Guys, that's all I can say. <laughs> this, this is... Uh, Well, anyway, so now you this is these. This is the New Amsterdam uh, as it is today, where, where Aladdin is playing. And mm -hmm. you remember uh, when Disney took it over, I mean, it was in such disarray. You know, this is on 42nd Street, when 42nd Street was just, just such yes, a place. Yes, it was horrifying. I used to go to auditions in that neighborhood at that time, and I used to pray that I'd get home safely. It was really dangerous. Yeah, it was. Now, when Disney took it over, they, they totally restored it and redid it and made it cha some changes so that they could do Disney productions. And mm -hmm. I think the first one was The Lion King, although I think there may have been one before that. But currently, of course, uh, Aladdin is playing there, which uh -huh. is also a Disney production. And I've painted the gold and given to try to give it a really Broadway look. No, you've painted that with metallic gold, gold leaf. Well, it's oil paint that has gold leaf in it. Mm -hmm. And then all, all the other colors are, are gold, are, are, uh, gold uh, 
well, the gold is here with all the lights and all that, and the others are, are just all painted mm -hmm. colors, and I paint them right on the surface of the of the print. Now, if somebody wanted print. to, if I go to the Tavern on Jane, and I see these, and I want to buy one, how much do you think they would cost? Well, if you had, if you bought one that's 16 by 20, and that would be, it's framed, it's matted, it's uh, completely um, ready to, right. to hang. Yes. Uh, that would be 300 uh -huh. And it's, of course, original, because even if someone ordered another one, let's say four people want Aladdin, mm -hmm. then the only way they're going to get Aladdin is uh, they can have the original, but then they can have the, uh, I can make some more, but they won't be exactly... Uh, because naturally they're hand-painted. Because they're and original, the and it's an original piece. Yes. Um, so this is, uh, this is the, the Aladdin. And now we're going into the Lyric Theater. Um, and I think, uh, I don't know, am I supposed to be viewed here or am I supposed to be just... Well, why don't you give me this? No, and I... will find out where the... No, they're looking, they're showing... Uh, tell them about... Okay. I'm going to read what you wrote. The Lyric Theater, 213 West 42nd Street and 214 West 43rd Street. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Anyway, it was built in 1903. It opened on October 12th. Columbus Day, 1903. Yeah, and it has two entrances. It has 42nd Street, and it has an entrance on 43rd Street. It, it, and today, it's the same entrances uh, that, that are there. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is a de detail of the theater, which I just love this. Uh, it's a detail of the lights and the gl glitz and all of that. To me, that looks like a 1930s postcard Yeah, because of the colors. Well, know. that's part of the reason I do the hand-painted photographs is because... Uh, I wanted to have an older look and have a theater look. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wanted to know if this is, I can't, uh, I don't know if the audience can see me, but... Uh, no, they can't, but they can see your hand and your painting. Okay. <laughs> and so this is... Here the, you come, now they can <laughs> see you. So, so you've, you've seen a glimpse of the old theater and actually the way that the theater looks today. Mm -hmm. This is the way it is today. And we're going to go on now to a marvelous theater that's called The Majestic. The Majestic. Yes. And the Majestic Theater, this is the old Majestic, which opened in 1927, which was oh. a couple of years before the crash. Yes. And, and the wonderful architecture here. And guess what's playing there? Ah, Phantom. Yep. And, and Listen to the music of the night, yes. And I tried so hard to, 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 to keep photographing it so that I could really show what's playing there as well as to show some, some sense of Broadway. Mm -hmm. I mean, rather than just having a, the, the uh, historical kind of picture as this is, I wanted to have something that's, that's contemporary and current. So this is our Majestic Theater. Yes. And uh, next, I have... Oh, that's beautiful. Now, the Schubert organization, you know, they had, they had four theaters and developed what was called Schubert Alley. Yes. And this is the Schubert Theater as it is today. And, of course, Matilda is playing there. And it's just a beautiful uh, view. Now, look at the old one. This is the old, the original the Schubert. Well, it's basically Which really is not very... No, they didn't... This is one theater. This is a... Uh, uh, 1929. This is one of the theaters that the Schuberts had the same architecture architect for this, and we'll get to the booth next. Same architect. So they kind of used the same patterns and retained it, which is so glorious. Just well, wonderful. Yeah. But also, 1929 is comparatively recent compared with 1903. Oh, yeah. So a 1929 theater yeah. would be in line with our tastes and... Uh, mechanical things, whereas 1903, you know. Yeah, well, you notice that with the palace and all, they were just straight up old, kind of, they didn't have any, th these all have the curves and all this carving sure. and really e elegant. Yes, just the elegant. Neil Morrish and, and it still re is retained here, as you can see in the current Matilda's there. And uh, <clears throat> it's just a wonderful theater. And it was so much fun to go around and photograph all these theaters. And You're you a great photographer as well. You. Artist. And, you know, moving through with the crowds and trying to find out what time is a good time. Sunday morning was a good time. Because they're all sort of getting there to get in line around 12 or 1 to get some tickets. But in the morning, it's, it's relatively quiet down in that area, which is Often great. when they shoot films in New York, they it's shoot early in the Sunday morning. morning yeah, yeah that's, that's, the, that's the time to do it. Now, this is the booth, which you can see <clears throat> is very similar to the Schubert that we just saw. And the Schubert brothers... Built, uh, had both of them built. 
Now, the Booth is a much smaller theater. He, they wanted to have small plays and small uh, mm -hmm. events happening there, whereas the, the Schubert, where Matilda is, is much larger, and they can do the big productions. And so that is our beautiful Booth. Now, our, I mean, we're coming up to the Booth that I just showed you, the old one of the Booth. Now, this is the current one. And it's really very, <coughs> it's not changed that much. No. And you have all of these wonderful, uh, <coughs> the facade is just all carved. And, and when I was painting this, uh, Diana, I wanted it, <coughs> most of these photographs I took in the day. Uh -huh. But I made them into night scenes because I painted the sky so it's dark. Uh -huh. And I wanted the buildings to come, to come out and, and have light. Mm -hmm. and have a lot of light that looks like a night scene, but it, it you know, it's really was not taken as a night scene. So this is our famous, now finally I have, there are many, many theaters, I mean there must be 40, I think yeah, there are about 40 Yeah, it's one of the major industries here in New York. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so the final one that I want to show you is, is the Broadway, which I love just to use the word Broadway, and uh, <coughs> this, is, this is quite staid when you think about mm -hmm. it, you know, this is uh, when you can you believe this it was 1888? It looks it. Yeah. 1888, and it was it was over on f uh, Broadway, uh, 1445 Broadway. Now that was demolished. There, that, 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 that's no longer that 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 went. But this was this was built uh, a little bit farther up on Broadway as a very modern theater for films. Remember uh, they were they were building these. Uh, when the when the talkies came yes, out, all of a yes, sudden the theaters were for movie theaters, yes, big, yes, big yes. time. And so this is it. And it's very modern and all that. But I took it again, the photograph in the daytime. Is it now a legitimate theater, or is it still a movie? It's theater? legitimate theater. It's been a legitimate theater for years. Fiddler oh, yeah. on the Roof is there right now. Oh, good. And it's been, you know, in that, on that list, it shows some of the the, uh, the plays that were in <coughs> in the Broadway theater. Uh, they made it as originally as a colony motion picture theater, showing sound pictures. And you're right. But then they changed it around. They said, no, we're going to have legitimate theater. So they showed Cole Porter, 1930, uh, Bojangles, Irving Berlin, Oklahoma. Listen to this. Gypsy. Andy, Did, get your gun. Oh, is this where Gypsy plays? Candid. Can, uh, Candide. Candide, yeah. Guys and Dolls, Evita. I love Dora Evita. Bob, and The King and I. And I Ryan, saw Evita. I saw it there, I guess. Yep. It was a long time ago. Les Miserables was there in 1887. <coughs> no, I, mean, I missed that one. 1887, I missed. 1987. Oh, is that, it? okay. And now, currently, is Fiddler on the Roof. And so that's the display of these paintings. I'll leave the Broadway uh, piece up, uh, and uh, we can maybe talk about some of the history and some of the fun of Broadway. But uh, I, the reason I paint, um, I paint these and not just have a colored photograph. Sure. Because I'm, I'm able to make it the way I want it. I want Broadway to, to glimmer, and, mm -hmm. and that's what it does. Mm -hmm. And so in, in taking the photograph and, and cropping it and getting it sort of a good angle, then I can just paint it on there, and then you can see sort of a, a, a nighttime shimmering Broadway. Mm -hmm. and this is an original piece, and uh, it's in the, in the exhibit at Tavern on Jane, on mm -hmm. Jane Street and, uh, and 8th Avenue. Here in New York. In yes. New York City, Greenwich Village, just a little bit south of 14th Street. So mm -hmm. it's very easy to get to on the C train mm -hmm. or other ways. And, and so you can see all these wonderful uh, paintings and photographs uh, at uh, Tavern on Jane. And you do not have to buy anything, but no one's going to hurt you if you do. <laughs> so, you know. So, yeah, that's great. That's... Uh, and what a lovely way to spend an evening or a Sunday afternoon uh, gazing at art and having tapas and a beer or something. Well, know? that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down there and I've scheduled some talks. And I'm going to sit out over there with people to come to see my work. And we'll talk about the theater and talk about Broadway. And they'll have brunch yeah, or have sure. a drink or have coffee. Or It's a very charming old village mm -hmm. restaurant. It's been there forever. And so I invite you all to come there and see these paintings that I've done of Broadway, and I intend to do more, uh, and maybe even go into the off-Broadway, because I, ha I, I didn't even touch that. But there are still a lot of the, th the legitimate theaters out there that well, I have Well, uh, the Ethel Barrymore is wonderful. It's small, but it's I very I did photograph nice. that. In fact, I photographed most of them, but I didn't choose to show no. all of them, because you just can't. Well, they restored the inside, and it looks exactly... The women played there, all sorts of great... Uh, plays played there and premiered there, you know. Yeah, and some of them are more conducive to the musical, 
you know, for example... Well, the Broadway obviously is built for musicals, even built, though it's a movie theater. It was know? built for musicals and, and was restored and, and redone so you could have... How could you have Gypsy in Oklahoma? You have to have this huge... Well, o now, that premi Oklahoma premiered at the Broadway? I don't know if it premiered, but it played there for... It had a good That's duration. Great. You know, and so... And one of the things that, that I've been studying is that the Broadway theaters today, when they do a musical, mm -hmm. they have a cast of about 30. Because that's about the best they can do in terms of the costs. Right. Whereas that when you went back to Gypsy in Oklahoma, there could be as many as two hundred in the yeah. cast, yeah. the yeah. dancers and everyone. Because of that's well, what Vita they did. employed a lot of people. Right. Yeah. They all did, and they had yes, you had yeah. so many uh, actors. But today it's it's minimized, you know. But you still have like American in Paris. There aren't that many actors in it, but it's just unbelievable, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, the, the timing and the movement and all that. Well, yeah. I was just so impressed well, with, with it. Well, with what Broadway tickets cost today? Well, that's the other thing that we, I you mean, know, the demise, on. the Broadway has gone up and down. We had the crash in 29. You, see, you heard me say before when the Schubert's built some of those theaters in the 20s. Yeah. All of a sudden, everything's at its peak. And what happens? We have a crash. A lot of the great 1930s film stars, such as Claudette Colbert, Mae West, had to go to Hollywood because the bottom dropped out of Broadway and there was no way to make a living on Broadway. So they went to um, to Hollywood. I love the the word Broadway. It's like you know Susan Hayward in Valley of the Dolls saying, you know, <laughs> Broadway doesn't go for booze and dope. I love that. Yeah. You, you, never mind. Anyway, you were saying. Well, I was saying that. Uh, the, the, the I certainly the threw a <laughs> monkey wrench into that. <laughs> well, that's I? okay. The cyclical part of Broadway, where it goes up, it goes down in the crash, and then it comes back, and then there was a period of time, I think in the 70s and 80s, 70s. Yeah, they said Broadway's it, dead. It was really in, in bad shape. Mm. And then, of course, Koch was very much to be accredited because he started this whole re redoing of 40 seconds. Well, also, the, the plays changed. In the early 70s, mm. you had things like Pippin and Jesus Christ Superstar, which were very nice, but were not of universal appeal. I mean, they appealed to young people right. of that time of whom I was one. Uh, now, then later in the 70s, you had really more universal shows, you know, that appealed to a lot of people, such as Evita and other, you know, shows that uh, were in revivals of Oklahoma and no doubt Gypsy and everything. Interestingly, Patti LuPone played Mama Rose recently in Gypsy. As oh, she know. did? Yeah. Oh, that's incredible. The Palace. Who's playing at the Palace? Well, that's American in Paris. I just put that back up, so I figured when we close, we'll take, take a look at the Palace again. But uh, Judy Garland loved to play at the Palace. Well, I saw her there. Did you I really? saw her one-woman show. When the Palace reopened, um, they did a lot of wonderful musicals uh -huh. again, and she played. And I remember going to uh, the, the performance, and of course, she always came in in the back. Right. And so she came down the down the, the aisle, and there was Joan Crawford on the side. Oh my and Judy God! Judy goes over and sees her, and they stand up, you know, and they have this this greeting and all Isn't that. that great? And Judy was in her pants, you know, those pants that yes, she wore, the, the jacket and pants, the hat. Yes. And she got up on the stage and just crashed. I mean, the whole thing was just fantastic. Isn't that great? That was a while ago. That was yes, when well the palace was first redone. Judy returned for a one woman. So, show. what did Joan Crawford look like up close and personal? Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I was about 10 seats away. I mean, I, we, my sister and so I, were, we couldn't believe it. You know? she, she looked like Joan Crawford she in looked, person. Absolutely. And how about Judy? Was she okay looking? She looked fabulous. Good, good. She looked fabulous. So she, and she sang, and everything was just, you know, she was really on top of it uh, at that time. Uh, when, it, when she did the palace, uh, it was... Uh, Circa 1961. Judy, one woman show was 1967. Oh, a one-woman show followed by Sweet Charity, Applause, La, Ca La Cage Faux, to name a few. So the yes, palace was yes. really, like, moving. It was really a big, yes, big-time yes, theater. Yes. And again, it, it's, you know, it's moving right now. It's a fantastic Well, theater. Marlena Dietrich in 67 appeared What somewhere. theater was she in? I forget, but it was... I saw that. Did you really? Yeah, I saw Marlene. And Fabulous. I don't remember what theater it was in, but uh, it was quite You like theater, I see. I love it. I've always loved theater. God I bless think we, you. I think all of us Every actor everywhere is thanking you. Be supportive of Broadway. Yes. And the friends of Broadway, wherever you are, I'd love to talk to you about these beautiful um, architectural and, and historic wonders and uh, maybe some 
somehow we could use them to preserve the image of Broadway yes, and maybe yes. raise some money to keep the Broadway going. Yes. That would be a good thing. Yes. Would be a ter terrific thing. And you know, one of the things too that's very good and attributed to Koch is, guess what? what? A lot of these theaters are now landmarked. Well, and yes. the reason they're landmarked is because of Koch promoted that with the development of 42nd Street and, and uh, landmarking these theaters. They couldn't mm -hmm. just demolish them. I, st I have a photograph I took of the Morosco and the Helen Hayes when they were still standing. Yeah. And there was all this protest, please don't take I down remember, the yes. Remember that? Yes. And they did. I know. And I, but I have those photographs. And if anyone wants to contact me, I have them. I had heavy, I hand painted photographs. They're not in this particular show, but Wonderful. I have them at my, my yeah. studio. And yeah, because people just took down the, where the, the Marriott Hotel is. There were four theaters I there. Know. I know. And they just bingo, you know, and because they needed an or an office building or something like that. It was like tearing down the glorious old Grand Central State, uh, rather, Pennsylvania Station to build this mid 1960s box. Right. That means nothing. That's for Mica, you know. Well, at least they didn't get uh, Grand, Grand Central. Grand Central. Station. Well, that's thanks to Jackie Central, O. You know, yeah, that's right. Who did a lot and of good. Another few things that they wanted to uh, demolish. But anyway, like me, for example. <laughs> no. yeah. But in in, uh, in closing, uh, what do you think uh, we can do to, to uh, help the theaters? Uh, well, go to theaters. Just go. Buy tickets, go, enjoy, tell your friends, I saw this great play at such and such a theater, and you know. And there are ways to discount, to get some discounts. Oh, God, I mean, yes. Because I know the tourists know exactly how to do it. I know that school reasons. teachers get discounts. I know that uh, if you're in the union, you get a discount. I know if you're a senior, you get a discount. I know if you're disabled, you get a discount. The prices are admittedly very expensive if you do not get a discount. Now, if you're coming from another country or state, uh, it's worth it, you know. But if you live in New York and you want to go regularly to the theater, it well, can get a little... Well, that's pretty hard. Yeah, because think, it's very expensive. But I think it's really still important that we... Now, with me, save a little bit and go to see one or two a year. At least to yeah. support Broadway and just to be out there. Yeah. Just to be in the theater. Well, we are in New York. We should, I mean, you know. but the theater, there's nothing like it. There's, there's nothing like the no, theater. And you're an actress, true. you know that. You know what it feels like. Yes. And... Uh, so I, I'll go back to my my uh, paintings and <coughs> and ask you again if you'd like to come to Tavern on Jane and take a look at these hand painted photographs that I've done of the theaters and maybe ha take one home as a treasure yeah. or give it to a friend of yours who loves to have a memory mm -hmm. of of some some experience maybe they had at, at that theater. Yeah, or sure. just the artistic beauty of it. I mean, it's just uh, they're amazing, just amazing. Mm -hmm. Uh, I well, uh, I'll tell you something else. If you work for a news organization, you get uh, you get a discount because my mother worked for United Press International and went to see Gypsy five times, and Ethel oh. Merman, yes, oh, and no. Ethel Merman, you know how pretty my oh. mother was. Ethel Merman yes. saw her coming often and actually winked at her. Oh dear, I can only hope that was a friendly wink. <laughs> Let's ask Jacqueline Suzanne what that was all about. <laughs> but anyway, but uh, yeah, it's fun to go to theaters and see plays, and there are a lot of ways to get a discount, you know. So let's all run to see what would be the next one you'd want to see. Oh, I don't know. I'd have to see what's what and what's going on, and you know, I don't know. The, the thing How about you. Well, I want to see the, the. There's a new musical, uh, and I can't remember the name of it. I should, but it was it's based sort of on the, the the films that Tom Hanks did with Med, Meg Ryan. People oh, who, sure, who Sleepers on. in Seattle. No, no, not no, that. oh, no, no, you a little shop middle. around the corner. Well, that was in the '40s. Yes, but and then uh, there was another one with Judy Garland and Van Johnson. Yes, and Little Liza was in it too. Yes, she was in the end. But the the thing is that that theme of two, of two people communicating by they way can't of stand each other in person a but letter, they're in love letters via correspondence by letters and correspondence and by email and this and, and that and that wonderful is it Jane Krakowski whatever her name is Krakowski she's great she's oh she's in the in the musical oh, yes now? she's the sex yeah. part of the piece that's yes. the one I I I think I'd, I'd direct myself towards yeah, to see yeah, that yeah. I'd love I to see that nice. one.
And also, I don't know that I'm, I shouldn't say that I have such a great interest in seeing Hamilton, but when I was photographing, guess what? It's a Sunday morning, mm -hmm. and uh, there were people with tickets for three blocks going yeah. down, and they had people to guide them into to the theater. You cannot Death get tickets for Hamilton for love or money. It's a phenomenon. It's just unbelievable. But you know, I didn't show that particular theater, but it's in the show. It's a beautiful yes, theater. Yes, but they're very nice. They actually do things out on the street, give people a number. Oh, no, they do. They're, it's very, <coughs> very organized and all controlled. But if anyone's interested, I also have the hand-painted photograph. It's in the show of the Hamilton the Theater. Mm -hmm. I think it's Richard Rogers, and it's a wonderful theater. Uh, wonderful looking facade. You know, it's like very... Uh, it's very old-fashioned. I don't think they destroyed it. I don't. I think they tried to keep it as well. As sure, it was. they restore them. You know, some of them, but but some of them changed the facade quite but a bit. Uh, yes, but then they looked at old photographs and changed it back. Yeah. If maybe. you remember, in the forties and fifties, people had a horror of Victorian and Edwardian decoration and oh, get rid of all this crap, this gingerbread. But then in the seventies, eighties, and nineties, people said. We want the Victorian look. Put it back. So. And that's okay, true. Okay, we have two minutes left. Tell us again where people can go see these. They can go down to Greenwich Village, the West Village, on uh, 8th Avenue and Jane Street. You can get there by 14th Street, by the C train, and go in from noon until closing. Okay, and that and would be I around 2 a.m.? Uh, probably. And it is Tavern on Jane. Tavern on Jane. How Jane. can they contact you? It's, I have how they can contact me. Uh, is um, probably can't even pull it out. They can contact me with my email, which is <coughs> which is uh, going to be shown <coughs> right here. Uh, Faith Galleries. <coughs> here we go at Yahoo. Here we go at yahoo.com. Okay, so Faith Galleries at yahoo.com. My guest has been Miss Nancy Purnell, artist, uh, photographer, all around fun person, and you can see her wonderful work at Tavern on. On Jane, on 14th, just off 14th Street. Right. And I'm Diane. 8th Avenue. Yes, 8th Avenue. And our wonderful director, Mr. Ryan Stillwagon, the man who said two minutes. That's Ryan. Anyway, and I'm Diana Montford. Hey, even if no one else loves you, I love you. I have no taste, you know? No, I love you a lot. <laughs> and I will see you next time. And you take real good care of yourself. And I love you. Be good to yourself. Well, see you next time. Bye.